Hi, it's Amanda again, and I am here with you with another layout from the April Coco Daisy Kit, um, which is forecast. And in this one, I am once again doing some older photos of my husband and I. And we are, um, it's one of those where, I think this was, gosh, the summer before I got pregnant with my daughter, so 2010. So they're fairly old, and I was going through my photo box, and I noticed that I had some enlargements that I hadn't done anything with yet. And, um, and then I had some where I had made the size smaller for Project Life, and I still had those. And so I thought it would be kind of neat to um, kind of put them all on the page, almost in a square layout design, but then I end up changing it, as you see later, and I angle them a little bit. But So I'm just using some of that striped paper from the kit. The craft cardstock, I think, was mine. I can't remember if I already used the one that came in the kit or not. Um, this I did this at the beginning of last week. so. But I just cut it down, and then it was one of those where I didn't have enough, so I cut it down longer. Or no, I did have enough, but I knew I needed the middle part as a photo mat, which is what I'm doing now. So I just cut it in half, and then I um, put the papers over top where the paper... I put the pictures over top where the paper shows, doesn't show. So... That's an easy trick, which I'm sure everyone already knows, that if you don't have enough paper or something like that, that you can just cut it into parts and then cover up the, the unseen parts. So I matted the photo in the same paper just to make it stand out a little bit more. And then I did end up angling the ones on the right and the left. So I pulled out a, a label, and I thought I was going to use it. It's from my stash, not from the kit. But I decided not to. So then I pull out my little embellishment box, and here I just, I never really noticed how I just stop and look at it sometimes until I started watching these videos, and it cracks me up. I'm like, what a doofus. I just sit there and stare at the page, but I guess I'm thinking. Got some of the packaging, and I have this chevron that I cut out from that chevron paper, and it's just not working. I don't really like the way it looks. It's not fitting very well, so I put that back. I've done that several times throughout the course of using up this kit, if you've noticed. I cut out a chevron piece and then I never use it. But that's okay. So I'm going through, what am I going through? Oh, the cut apart sheets. I really liked these whenever I first got them, and then for some reason I'm having the hardest time using them. I don't know if it's because I've been in like project life mode for the last couple years, and this year I decided not to do it, and so I'm still thinking like a project lifer. Or if I'm just, I don't know what my problem is, but I have started using them in some of the other kits. So I did take one and I cut it apart because I really liked the yellow. And then I just stuck one on the top and one on the bottom. <clears throat> and I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, I'm tearing apart some of that craft paper bag and just putting it down on the top for some texture. And I actually really liked how that turned out. It was just kind of a neat, subtle hint of something else that wasn't huge, didn't stand out a ton, but it was it still made a, a little bit of an impact. So I'm just adhering things down. I got some glue on some places that didn't need it, so I'm just rubbing that off, crinkling up the paper a little bit. Normally I would have inked that, but I just forgot to. I would have inked the yellow cards, the edges of them as well. So I've got my letters, and here in a second, you'll actually see me get up and I edited it out. I was gone for a while. I really wanted to bring in purple and I only have one purple font and it's like a foam, really thick um, font, which I really like. There I go. And now I'm back. But And I ended up using the, one that's the only ones that I had and I just kind of made it work. But I realized purple is my favorite color and I have very few purple patterned paper. I have very little. Actually, I don't have any purple cardstock, 12 by 12. And I only have one set of purple thickers. So maybe I'll have to do a color focus on purple for a while. So I'm just sticking those down to the, the actual thickers packaging and figuring out where I like it. And I decide I like it there. So then I, I just put it down permanently. I'm still looking at different um, letter stickers and 
things like that, not letter stickers, but different types of embellishments. The one thing that I used that I really liked, um, it was the sticker sheet from the kit, all the yellow, there were some words and then some images. And they had like the potty people in yellow. And I thought that would be a really good way to tie in the yellow from the card up above. And there was a boy and a girl. So I just put them right next to each other to represent me and the hubby. Going through. You see me pull those sticker books out all the time. And there's something that I've had for the last year. Um, very popular. I mean, it was the last Dear Lizzie. And not the last, but one of the... Um, lines from Dear Lizzie and Amy Tan from last year and I just really I still love them and I need to use them more like that long sticker sheet right there I can't believe I haven't used more of it but they're very feminine at least in my mind so I try to be careful and I don't always do very feminine pages kind of have a mixed approach so I just have to I'll get through them. I just want to make sure I use them up because I really do love them. That, um, the story, I think it says, here's the story, and it came from the kit. It's one of the little die cuts, and so did that twine. I'm just sticking that down. Just starting my clustering. So the last page, or one of the last pages that I videoed was very, um, it was vertical, but it was very down the middle of the page. And this one is you know, to the to the left side of the page. So just a different take on the same type of layout. Got some more stickers that I'm pulling out. I'm going through some of my die cuts. I've got some journaling cards and things. Just looking for things that I might could use because the one thing that I will say is this kit was kind of sparse in embellishments and I find that I'm running out of them. Um, so I'm having to really pull from my stash a lot. I found that yellow tab. I put that down there. I don't know what I'm doing now. Can't see. Oh, I was using a pop dot and I cut it down. I've got some of these yellow label stickers. I think I'm on the search for trying to find new things that I might have that are also yellow. I'm so glad that I finally got these pictures put on a page though. It's one of those when you're a scrapbooker and you have a photo shop or a photo shoot done. And you're like, oh, I'm going to get to scrap all these pictures and it's going to be so great. And then you realize I just haven't done it yet. So I'm adding a, a doily to each of those clusters. I like the touch of white that the doily added because I have lots of yellows and the, there's a lot of green in the pictures and then the papers are very brown. Um, but I have on a white skirt and my husband has on a white shirt in a photo. And so, um, you know, the white doily really just kind of helped to tie all that in together. And then I'm looking, I wish I had some purple enamel dots, but I don't. So I forget the embellishments for a while and I go on in and I write my journaling. And um, I think I'm just writing about how I look back on these times whenever it was just the two of us. And even though I wouldn't trade the life we have now for anything in the world, um, you know, those were such fun times when it was just me and him. And then I eventually go in and I add some of the periods from the purple thickers. And I just put them on as little accents. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll put some pictures at the end so you can see it a little bit more closely. And sorry I did the end of this facing me, but I just I kind of had to with things I was doing. All right. Thanks. Bye.